Hey, Lorraine Bracken here from the Digital Explorer. Today, we're going to be talking about Thrive Architect and Thrive Team Builder and what is the difference. Before we dive into this video, welcome to my channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because this is where you will find honest tips and information about making money online. Thrive Teams have a lot of different names for their different tools within their software. So it can get confusing when they do start adding different ones and you're trying to figure out, well, which one do I even need? So I want to run through exactly what you're going to get with Thrive Architect and with the Thrive Team Builder. Okay, so what is the main difference between Thrive Team Builder and Thrive Architect? Well, Thrive Team Builder, you can customize the overall structure and layout of your entire website. Whereas with your Thrive Architect, you are customizing elements or content within an individual page. So within the Thrive Team Builder, you'll get a WordPress theme called Shapeshift. You need to have some sort of theme for your website as your overall design for it. So if you don't use Shapeshift, you'll be using something else. So the difference here with Thrive Team Builder is you'll be able to actually edit and modify all the features within that Shapeshift theme within the actual WordPress dashboard. Now with the Thrive Team Builder, you'll get a version of Thrive Architect, but it's the light version. It's different in a way that you won't get as many elements as you would with the plugin itself, Thrive Architect. You're probably wondering, well, can I actually build a website with Thrive Architect plugin on its own? And the answer is absolutely yes. Yes, you can. That's exactly what I do for my business. And I'm going to show you on the next video how you can build a simple and easy landing page with Thrive Architect. And to give you a visual illustration of what I mean by what Thrive Team Builder will do for your website, what we have here is all our different pages. So you can have any amount of pages for your website. And what Thrive Team Builder will do is you're going to be able to customize your logo, your color style, your font sizes, your page templates, post templates, headers and footers. And you also can have dynamic content. So you can customize placements within your pages so that you can have different call to actions for different pages and set all that kind of thing up. So this is the baseline of your whole entire website. You can change anything you want within the team builder and that's going to affect your entire website, which differs from Thrive Architect. And with the Thrive Architect plugin, you're going to get to customize elements within one page at a time. And also you're going to get additional elements you wouldn't get with the team builder, such as your countdown timer. You got testimonials, opt-in pages, the sales funnel templates. So you can get pre-made templates within Thrive Architect that you don't even need to have a theme per se because it's going to override it anyway with the Thrive Architect plugin. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll show you Thrive Theme Builder and also I'm going to show you Thrive Architect and then I'm going to give you some website examples of both and then you'll be able to make an informed decision which one might be the best for you. I'm in my WordPress dashboard right now. Once you install Thrive Teams, you're going to be shown an option for Product Manager. And within this area, you're going to be shown all the plugins or theme that you've purchased from Thrive Teams. I'm a member of Thrive, so I get all their different plugins and the theme included in my membership. And as you'll see right here, we have Thrive Team Builder Teams, which is Shapeshift. They have the one theme available. And then we have our Thrive Architect plugin. And we'll take a look at Shapeshift first. I already have mine uploaded onto my WordPress dashboard, but if you don't, you can just simply click it and select Upload Product and it'll go onto your WordPress site. I'm going to go into Thrive Dashboard and then I'm going to go down to Thrive Theme Builder first. Now, it pretty much walks you through the whole process with our wizard, but the first thing I'd advise you to do is actually make a copy of the Shapeshift theme in case you make any mistakes or you delete something by accident. So I've made my copy and I've called it TDE Shapeshift. And we select Get Started. And you can put in your logo in here, choose and continue. And then it brings you down then to the brand colors. So you can choose whatever brand color you want. Or if you don't know, you can just pick any color and go back and change it whenever you want. Select Apply and then move on to the next step which is the headers. You can choose different headers from their selection bar here. 
So we pick this one and then you go on to the next step. And then we have footers and you can choose whichever footer you want from their selection here, their pre-made selection. We go with this one and then we choose and continue. And this brings us on then to the home page. You can choose from their ready-made home pages. You can display one from your existing page or you can display your blog as your home page. I'm going to go with choose from ready-made home pages. And we select this right here and we choose from one of their templates. And I'll stick with this one here. And then we choose and continue again. And then we can choose our template for a single blog post. And again, you get pre-made templates and you can select which one you want from this. And I'll go with this one. As you can see, it walks you through the whole process. It's pretty simple. And then you have your blog post list and you can choose which one you want for this. I'll go with this one right here and choose and continue. And then for our pages again, we select a pre-made page. I'll go with the second one and choose and continue again. Now, when it comes to choosing your menu, if this is brand new and you don't have any menus set up, you can just go and continue without choosing a menu. Come back later and edit it as you go. That's the great thing about Shapeshift. You can change any of these at any stage. So I'll go ahead and say continue without choosing a menu. Your site has now been built using the designs you've chosen. You can revisit the wizard at any time by clicking the options on the left hand panel and you can preview your site. And that's our template for our Shapeshift site. Now back in the WordPress dashboard, you can also customize the branding of your site. You can go by color themes. You can go with your logo again, if you want to have the dark background or light background. You can also customize the typography of your website. So whatever color, font or style you can change here and it's going to change everything for every page you have on your website. And then you have your templates. You can have default posts, default pages, audios, video posts, and you can use whatever template style for each and every one of them. And lastly, we have site speed. They give you the option to optimize your entire site with optimizing your images and they give you plugins to speed up your site and for your mobile pages. And that's just a quick overview of Thrive Theme Builder. I'm going to show you an example website of what you can do with this tool. Thrive Themes have given us a preview of what type of website you can build with the Shapeshift theme. And here is an example of what you can do with Thrive Theme Builder. It is a very in-depth website. As you can see from the top in the menu bar, you can have so many different options. And the great thing with the theme builder is if you have a hundred different pages, you can set the template for each and every one of them to be congruent throughout your whole website. Now Thrive Themes themselves have a great video on YouTube. I'll link it in the description below and they actually walk you through how you can set up a website from scratch, a conversion focused website using Thrive Builder and Thrive Architect together. Now I'm back in my WordPress dashboard and we're going to take a look at Thrive Architect plugin on its own. What I do is I go into my pages and I've set up a test page for this video. So I'll go down to that particular page, Thrive test page, and we edit with Thrive Architect. Now, when you open this in a new page, normally this will be a blank canvas, but I was just playing around with it. So that's why there's an actual page template in here. But what we do is we go to change template. They'll give you an option of normal page, blank page with header and footer, complete blank page or pre-built landing page. I'm going to go and select pre-built landing page and then they're going to give you different templates. We've got options of smart landing pages and legacy landing pages. The smart landing pages are the most recent ones and they're the most customizable ones. So you can pick whichever one you want. For this video, I'm just going to select this one, Chic Smart. And within this particular Chic Smart theme, you can choose between general, confirmation, download, lead generation, or blank. And they're just all displayed down here and you can choose whichever one you want. I'll select this one right here. 
and our template uploads just like that and you can modify it any way you want after that. And on the right hand side, you can add elements, you can add text bar, images, bot buttons, columns, uh, templates and symbols, logos, and then you have more customizable ones down here, which is credit cards. You got dividers, you have fill counter, icons, lead gens, and progress bars. As you can see from the difference between the theme builder and this page builder, we're actually just editing one page at a time. Whereas with the theme builder, you are actually customizing the template for your entire website. And we leave it at that for now. On the next video, I'm going to go more in depth on how you can build a landing page with Thrive Architect. But to give you an example of what you can do with Thrive Architect, Thrive Themes has built this simple landing page with their Thrive Architect alone, without the theme builder. So they're showing you that it is possible that you can have a very professional looking landing page for your website if this is what you're looking for. And how I know that is because down on the frequently asked questions, they mentioned that in there. It says, is this page built with Thrive Architect? They say, yes, this whole page and everything you see on this page is built with Thrive Architect and only Thrive Architect. And that leads me on to which one is better, Thrive Team Builder or Thrive Architect? Well, in my opinion, Thrive Architect plugin is ideal for mini sites. So if you just want maybe a one page website or you're just looking for a way to have opt-in forms or if you just want a simple interface with not many pages, this Thrive Architect plugin would be ideal. But if you're wanting to build an extensive website with a huge amount of blog posts, for example, you can use Thrive Theme Builder because it does have very customizable templates that's going to change your entire interface without having to go into each individual page. And that's my rundown of Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect. I hope you have a better understanding now of what they are. And of course, if I've left anything out, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you found value from this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. And make sure to check out these other videos on my channel. There is one right there where you can actually learn how to build a landing page within GetResponse. And as always, thanks very much for watching. And until the next video, I'll chat to you soon.